How AMD beat Intel in its own game. Ooh, AMD advanced micro devices. Very painful day for this stock. AMD is it's it's still it's, it's just been, surviving, but yeah, it's, surviving. It's not by a lot. The chip maker was bleeding money, drowning in debt, facing a possible bankruptcy. I am truly honored and extremely excited to be able to lead AMD. You know, we're in a world today where chips are everywhere. They're powering everything. It's time to buy AMD as the shares. AMD's success at catching up to Intel's technological advances is something many attribute to Lisa Su. The company was in a very different spot back then, declining share price and struggling to, to find its place in a market that's really dominated by very few, very large players. And today you're one of the best performing stocks in the S&P 500. Welcome to our YouTube channel, where we're about to take you on a roller coaster ride through the incredible journey of a phoenix, rising from the ashes of failure to soaring heights of success. We're talking about the iconic company, Advanced Micro Devices, whose fate was changed forever by the visionary leadership of Dr. Lisa Su, the company's CEO. When Intel was in full swing, AMD was on the verge of bankruptcy. AMD, the chip maker, uh, getting a thumbs down. The company blames its sales decline on weakness in Europe and also slowing demand in China. AMD hasn't posted a profit in the last 11 quarters. After 2008 financial crisis, AMD's stock price was at low at price of $150. Declining of PC industry was reason for AMD's downfall as per management, and that adds by global recession component shortage due to flood in Thailand, plus increase in smartphone penetration around the world. Apart from that, company was continuously losing its PC industry's market share to Intel. Intel was well-oiled and cash-making machine. While all this was happening, the board and management was busy fighting with each other. Company has changed its CEO four times in short spam of two years. In all these chaos, company's debt was increasing. In first quarter of 2013, company has debt of $338 billion, and its debt-to-equity ratio was 815, and company's share price has fallen to all-time low at less than $2 with market cap of less than $2 billion. In 2014, AMD was at all-time low, and company was heading toward possible bankruptcy. At that time, Dr. Lisa Su became CEO of company. Thank you, JT. And I got to tell you, I am truly honored and extremely excited to be able to lead AMD. This was like a becoming a captain of sinking ship, but for it wasn't the case. She was techie from her childhood. It was like her dream job. This was an opportunity for me. It was actually my dream job to run a semiconductor company. After becoming CEO, she takes control of companies burning issue like finances, product line and losing semiconductors market to Intel. Sue takes charge as CEO. That year company has lost over $150 million. Company was in deep trouble of debt and no innovation. As soon as she start, companies start to thinking of new high performance, high margin semiconductor chip. As they continue, company announced its Ryzen processor in December 2016. It was Jim Keller, a microprocessor engineer and team who designed Ryzen. He was previously working at Apple. This was product that was going to change fate of AMD. Experience visually stunning performance like never before. Only with the second generation Intel Core i5 processor. As we discussed earlier, Intel was well-oiled cash machine. Company was making billions of dollars in profit every year from semiconductor industry, but it became their problem as well, as Intel was like almost monopoly in CPU business. They turned themselves into non-innovative. Intel did exactly with their processor, what Apple had done with Apple II computer. Apple II was successful and made a lot of money for Apple. After that, Apple came with a couple of updates with Apple II, but no innovation. Intel did the same thing with its microprocessing chip. Intel was not working toward any major innovative CPU processor. Company was just updating its previous processors. This was opportunity and probably life-saving for AMD. Now let's talk about Ryzen. Many of you have seen me over the last 12 or 18 months, and what I have told you is that the best is yet to come. 
And this is truly, without a doubt, our best product lineup in over a decade. Despite having many problems with Ryzen processor, market wanted it to be successful because Intel was slow in developing new processor, and that become the case. Ryzen become widely popular, and users were happy due to its performance and cost effectiveness. After that, company has never looked back. Apart from Ryzen, company has create new and innovative product line that market accepts it, and AMD had made ton of money from it, and it can be seen in company's performance at stock market. Share price of AMD has wild run just from $2 to $150 in 2021. Company's current share price is around $80, but even after that, company has made 40x return for its investors. As Dr. Lisa Su's long-term plan for AMD worked out well, AMD is now highly profitable company. In 2022, company has reached revenue of 23.6 billion with 2.4 billion in profit. Now AMD's eating market share of Intel and CPU market, the very same market that Intel was dominating over decade ago. AMD is also at war with Nvidia in GPU market, and AMD is doing quite well in that. AMD is doing well in its GPU market against NVIDIA, and to strengthen its position, AMD has acquired Xilinx for whopping $49 billion. Company has futuristics plan for AI and self-driving car segment. Company is also heavily invested in data center business, which is again very profitable and growing business. Acquisition of Xilinx will help AMD strengthen its position in all segments. To sum up the story, AMD is one of the most innovative and profitable company made by Dr. Lisa Su and team. Just in decade, AMD turned itself from possible bankruptcy to powerhouse of global semiconductor industry. Lesson of the story is, if won't be innovative, you will lose no matter how big player and dominant you are in your sector like Intel. If you like this video, hit like button and share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. Please let us know in comment which business stories you'd like to know next. Thank you.